when you talk to somebody on a social media platform and you talk to them every day, you feel like you know them. You feel like they're somebody who's in your life. And so somebody tweeting from Syria who is a member of ISIS can develop a very emotionally powerful relationship with somebody who's sitting in the United States. And that is part of the reason that they that we have seen people are more willing to mobilize in the name of ISIS than they were in the name of al-Qaeda. Given that media and the battle of perception is so central to what the Islamic State is trying to do, the U.S. government has to be more quick to react and to understand the strength of its messaging and to be able to respond at the same kind of speed, focusing in on the key message of the Islamic State at the same speed at which they can push out their own message. The U.S. government can't engage in any kind of theological debate for all sorts of obvious reasons. But the message we, that U.S. government officials should constantly say is this group def- positions itself as the defender of Islam, but its uh, victims are overwhelmingly Muslim. It's a factually correct statement that requires no knowledge, special knowledge of, uh, of Islam. And I think it's a powerfully undercutting message for what this group is trying to say about themselves to the Muslim world.